And here in the top right hand corner of the map, we have our blue Terran player. That is Artist. And his opponent in the bottom left hand corner from Team Liquid is our red Protoss player, Hero. Yes, indeed. So, Shakuras Plateau, an interesting choice from Artist. We could see some kind of tricky stuff here on this map. Um, Reapers are actually quite popular, even in TVP, at least in the early game, to get a couple in there, do some scouting, do some potential damage. So, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Artist do something like a Reaper expand in this situation. Um, otherwise, it is just a good map in general for getting a pretty fast expand taken care of. And look at this. All right, never mind. It's just a supply depot. <laughs> for some reason, I really thought he was going to build a barracks, but I can't. But now I remember, you can't do that before supply depots now. Do yep. you remember those days, though? I just had a flashback though? to, like, yeah, early I know. last year. No, was that even... Was that even 2010 that they changed that? That was I think way so. early Proxy, in Proxy, Six too. Racks, Reaper, you remember stuff like that? Oh, I remember oh. like the 11 oh. supply Thor rushes that people used oh. to do, like, War. It was so it's great. Gross. It was That's so gross. great, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was so much fun. But <laughs> as we know, some fun can't last forever. And That's sadly, true. balance has to take over at some point. So <laughs> I guess. Yeah, they did have to change that. Oh, make well. this game boring and made sure that one race didn't have an advantage over the others. Now I can just imagine chat going nuts like, what are you talking about? Oh, no. X race is way better than oh, Y. In, no, in you're an world. idiot. Y is better than Z. Well, yes. I mean, generally, the Y button is better than the Z button on most video game controllers. That's true. They do have. Although yes. Z is sometimes a trigger, and that's an important button on controllers. And 64 so. man Z was critical. You know, that's critical. actually critical. I take it back. Z wins. <laughs> Z is hands down one of the best buttons on most console controllers. That is true. Yeah. The uh, Z button on the N64 saved my life multiple you times. Know, Barrel rolls me in Star Fox. You know what the best button on a uh, Super Nintendo controller is, in my opinion? What's that? Why? Why? Why is that? Uh, because it did things like pick up barrels in Donkey Kong Country. Ooh, and yes, it, it did. it had a lot of the very important functions in a lot of the platforming games. Yeah. Um, there you go. Especially because it was a kind of an odd configuration for them. Because, I don't know, for some reason I always looked at that controller and expected the buttons to be arranged differently. So uh, Nintendo's uh, like that, man. It's tricky. I know. They are a tricky stuff. company. All right. Well, a probe <laughs> trying to dodge a Marine. <laughs> well, he already knows. One gas is up. We'll see what Hero wants to, uh, I'm sorry, Artist wants to spend that on in just a second. Ooh, she saves up three. Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so. Ooh. I, you know, nah, he's not going to do it. Never mind. I'm not even going to say that. But if it happens, I'm going to be like, I was thinking that. Well, okay. Oh, no, you got to say it now. What are you thinking? Uh, I can't. It's too silly. Okay. All right. Okay, like I'll say it. I like silly. It's, uh... I, okay, no, he's not going to do it. I, I was hoping that this would be some sort of crazy Reaper with speed build, but oh. instead it's, it's not going to be that. That would have been amazing. Yeah, I, I think it might be Hellion Marauder, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a little bit unique. Artist really is one of those players that has a lot of those crazy builds that you don't see very often, Yep. and he likes to do them in these sort of best of situations. <laughs> um, in team leagues, we generally see him playing more or less standard, although he does still work in this stuff from time to time, but... Uh, in this situation, he likes to be a little bit crazy. And yeah, the first Hellion is on the way for artists, so it may just be very early game Marauder Hellion from him, which uh, would be interesting. It'd be interesting. Hero did do a one-gate expand, so he's not going to have a lot of units up potentially to stop this. And we'll artist did add in the second gas, so sometimes you'll see Marauder Hellion. As you can see, he was able to get up the factory, he was able to get up the barracks, uh, and start a couple of upgrades just on the gas that he smart. had. This is smart what uh, Artist is doing right now. He's leaving the Hellions behind. He's pushing out with what looks like a normal little push from a one gate expand, or a one barracks expand, excuse yeah. me. Um, and then he's going to bring the Hellions in later. He just wants to make sure that the Zelnog Towers are cleared so that when his push comes, Artist will be expecting it the least. So this is working out so well, uh, well so far. I don't think Artist has really any indication of what's coming. And he does see the Hellion now, though. Hero, we'll see how well he can defend. He did decide to run out with a probe. The probe gets uh, shut down by those Hellions. Yep. And a unit's going to make their way out. Two more gateways coming up right away. Chrono Boost on the warp gate as well, so that he can drop down a couple more units. He decides to keep the Nexus, and now he has to defend at the top of the ramp. He has a great position to engage, though. Not a lot of damage has been done to the Zealot, despite the fact that there were two, Hel there are two Hellions there. And they do very well against light units. And now that the Marauders that had received the Concussive Shell upgrade are gone, this push looks virtually non-existent. Yeah, it's basically over here. I think Artist might try to stay on one base and uh, finish it with a, an attack later on. It kind of looks that way, but I think Hero's going to be able to defend it pretty easily um, if he keeps playing like he is now. 
He's got to make sure he doesn't... Oh, he does push. gift one stalker back there, but... And uh, he knows that go. this push is still coming out. Wants to make it exciting, I guess. He's like, here's a stalker. There we go. Things are a little bit more even now. Well, now we have sentries, and sentries, as we all know, four shields plus guardian shield makes a gateway army that much stronger. Oh, man, no kidding. And robotics facility on the way as well. So, you know, Hero has been able to defend with just the bare minimum of units time after time after time. Um, let's see here. Did he actually finish them before switching? No. No. Or, or, combat or did he research combat shield? I'm sorry. He, uh, he might have. I, I didn't quite catch it. But I think what we're going to see here again is a bio tank push. Yeah, indeed. We are seeing siege mode and the first siege tank on the way as well. So yeah, he's not even going to really worry about Stim at this point. It seems like he's just going to try to follow this up with a very strong tank timing that uh, Artist, or that Hero rather, might not be expecting again. I mean, that's the thing. Artist is kind of really banking everything on catching Hero unawares, and I just don't think that's going to happen in this case. Hero's yeah. going to get out an Observer fairly soon if he, if he chooses to scout that pretty easily. And then at that point, you know, what's Artist going to do? He's going to have to really just rely on microing this push extremely well, but we've already seen Hero beat this sort of thing one game in this series. And it was indeed Combat Shield that was researched for those Marines, and it right, did finish before they switched uh, before they switched over. No more Tech Labs coming up for the Barracks. So that'll be it for the bio upgrades here. And our Starport is now finishing up. We'll see if Artist has enough to rally forward and make a strong push. On the flip side of things, Hero, he's gonna have a great defensive position. He's going to have to watch out for drops, of course, or oh. medevacs fearing units into the high ground. But he does see the tanks, he sees the marines, and he knows that this is a super, super strong one base all in. Yeah, he knows everything that's coming right now. The thing that Artist really has going for him is that Hero doesn't have any Colossi or anything like that yet. Mm -hmm. And he only has one Immortal, so that's going to make it pretty tough to break those tanks here. And so I think we may actually see Artist do some damage if he goes right now. Oh, and he is going bit by bit on this one as well. All the SCVs coming off the line. Well, not all, but most of the SCVs. Send all the, the SCVs. He might have to soon. Only one immortal in this push here. Wow, Hero just wants to catch this out in the open. He deals oh, with the, the Hellions pretty quickly, but now that the tanks are in position, he's going to have to back up just a little bit, waiting for another mortal to pop on down. He's also got plenty enough supply. He'll be able to continue workers in just a bit. Once again, throwing down force fields, running through the front couple of units, and spreading those stalkers out pretty well. Yeah. The immortal was not focused oh, down immortal. right away, but now Artis finally breaks through the very strong units. It's just a zealot stalkers and one immortal remaining and he's going to slowly creep the siege tank position forward yep he also does have that medevac to give him vision on the high ground which is absolutely crucial suddenly hero's base is in a little bit of trouble here he's going to have to sit back and be very very patient throughout all of this he may even have to give up this nexus we'll see See, he's got a second immortal now. Is that going to be enough to start forcing this back? Artist bringing up some banshees now. He's got one on the way. And more zealots are being produced as Hero actually has a pretty decent number of gateways. He's taking some damage on the Nexus, but once again, characteristic Hero, he's playing so patiently. Yeah, he, he really needs to. He obviously can't break what Artist has with what he has now. I think he may decide to go with his third immortal, but that Nexus is going to be very, very low. And there's already four tanks out right now and a banshee on the way too. Here we go, the third immortal is out. He's going for it. Yeah, is it gonna be enough though? A lot of zealots way in the back. The zealots are oh, in the back, man. but one tank has already gone down and the zealots are actually finding some pretty good damage against these marines. But yeah. now there's a banshee that could change things. Here was able to drive away all of the tanks, so it's just marines and now banshees up. He's gotta get a little bit more anti-air out there. Yeah, you know, it's a really tense situation right now for here. He needs that anti-air, just like you said. Two Immortals are nice, but you know what? Against just Marines, they're not that great. And this Nexus is in serious danger of being taken out right now. And the Stalkers are falling. This Banshee is going to go unopposed in a second. Now we have a couple more Stalkers being brought in. Artist not bringing up any other Banshees with this push that I know of, though. Does he have a second on the field? Okay, he does. So it's making its way out sometime, but not going to be there oh, quick the enough. Banshee. Whoa, it gets so low, but manages to survive for now. Wow, Artist trying to survive as well. If he loses this game, if Hero holds the push artist is knocked down into the lower bracket immediately here yeah he doesn't want to go there hero doesn't want to go there either he wants to win right now and let's see there is a robotics bay on the way for hero so if he can get a colossi out i think that'll be the end of this push really fast 
but can he survive this long? He does have a little bit of a supply lead, so things all in all are not going badly at all for him at this point. The economy is still quite good. Arnis oh, uh, loses one Marine, takes damage on others just to try and pull those units back into range of the Siege Tanks, but Hero, is, his control and awareness is much too good for that right now. Yeah, I feel like Hero, you know, with every second that goes by, is Whoa! getting a little bit better position, but this may change things. <laughs> This is going to be it. I mean, it's going to be tough, obviously, to win. I mean, needless to say, Hero is all in right now. And I don't know how effective those SCVs really are going to be at buffering against this. It looks like, are there five, four immortals out right now? Uh, four I or believe, just still three? Yeah, four, okay, there's four. Three. Uh, oh, yep. there is. Okay, the fourth just finished. And SCVs out there as well. Is it going to go for it? The tanks were unseached for just a moment. But Hero deciding to be patient. I think that's the right decision at this point. All yeah. he needs to do is kind of wait his opponent out, really. Artis still has quite a bit of DPS, but the Robotics Bay is now down. Our first Colossus is on the way. Yeah. And oh, Artis okay. is going to choose this moment to move up. The oh, SCVs boy. are sitting there, but now we have tanks on the, uh, I'm sorry, Immortals on the high ground, yes, picking up those tanks very quickly. The Banshees are going to need to provide so much support. One is about to go down. The second is getting very low as well. The Marines have not gone unchecked GG. yet, but it doesn't matter. Artis lost too much, and Hero is going to advance to winner's round two here at the Tournament of Champions.